Hey guys and gals, this is Mike and Hannah here with Trail 7. And let me tell you, we are so excited to be here. We have once again partnered with Kicker to put together a very simple install to get your Jeep sounding what it should sound like. We did it for the JK. We've done it once again for the Gladiator and for the new Wrangler JL. All right, so we have a lot going on here, right? The traditional way of installing and upgrading your speaker system is to source which speakers are gonna fit, which speakers do you need, which speakers go in which place, which crossovers are gonna be needed for which speakers, which connectors, which adapters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So take for an example, this tweeter box here. You open the box, all of this comes with it. All right, What's hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here at Trail 7, everything that's over on this side of the table, we've put into a plug and play bundle. We've soldered all the wires together, we've connected them, we've made this super easy so that you don't have to be in your garage on a Saturday. You can actually be driving in your Jeep with the wind in your hair because this is plug and play. That's right, Hannah. We've made it plug and play. Very simple install for you. Today, we're gonna to show you how easy it is to install Trail 7's plug and play kicker speaker upgrade in our Gladiator, which is also applicable to the JL Wrangler. You ready to get it on, Hannah? Let's go. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started on our speaker install in our dash here. And the tools you need for this job are the trim remover tool and a seven millimeter socket, or you can use a Phillips screw head driver. You're also going to need the speakers. This is Kicker's KS speaker line. This is a three and a half inch speaker. It replaces the factory three and a half inch speaker and we have made it plug and play. We've soldered the crossover, soldered all the connections. So this just plugs into the factory connector. Well, let me show you how. So first step is going to take the speaker grill off. And this is really simple. You just get this trim tool remover up in here, a lift, and you just pop the tabs underneath off and it just pulls right off. Now here's where the seven millimeter comes into play or you can use again the Phillips screw head. Take the screws out, pull the speaker out, push this little tab in here and you just pull the clip out and it's out. Now we're gonna plug the new speaker in Just like so. Tuck the wire into place. Use the same factory screws that you took out to put back in. And put the cover back on. It was literally that simple. So now we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. So now we're gonna do the same process on the driver's side here. Now we have the dash speakers done, now we're gonna move on to the sound bar. So now I'm gonna show you how to replace the speakers in the sound bar here. And the tools that you're gonna need are a number five Allen wrench. You're going to need a number 20 star bit. You're also going to need a number 27 and a number 10 star bit to reinstall. So let's go ahead and get started. Using the number five Allen wrench, you just take off these four screws that hold the speaker cover on, and we'll get started. So we'll just set the speaker cover to the side. We're actually not going to reuse this. We're not gonna reuse any of the screws or the speakers that you're pulling out. Um, so just go ahead and set those to the side. Now we're gonna take our number 27 star key to remove these three screws on the speaker um, here, and then these two on this little speaker here. Uh, this comes out, so you don't need it, so if it falls in your face, just go ahead and set it to the side. To remove this speaker, you just press in on this tab on the side, and oh, it pulls there. right out. We'll move on to the second speaker. And this one you just press in on the top. Now we move on to the star bit number 27. 
to remove these four screws on the port tube that we're, we don't need, so we're going to take that out. Um, and let me just note here, um, different from the JK where the sound bar is very easy to take out, um, this one is a little bit more difficult on the um, JL and JT. So this is the easiest way to replace these speakers, is just sitting in the passenger the back passenger seat or back driver's seat to replace these. So now I'm just going to remove these four screws. This little port just pulls right out as well as the gasket that goes with it. You won't need that. Like I said before, you don't need anything that you've taken out um, of this sound bar. So now we're going to do the install of our new um, speaker component here and we already have the six and three quarter inch kicker KS kicker speaker installed in the housing as well as the little one inch tweeter on the side. If you have the premium sound system with the amp and sub your uh, speakers are going to look just like this with the six and three quarter and the little one inch tweeter. If you have the non-premium system without the amp and the sub, um, you're just going to get the six and three quarter and not the little tweeter. So let's go ahead and get this up. So for this, we're gonna use the number 10 star bit to install um, the speaker housing. And it comes with the new screws that you'll need. So there's four screws here, one, two, three, four. And then plug the two components in and that's it. So let me start by plugging these in. The little tweeter in here. Perfect. And this just fits really nice up in here. Um, you can tuck the wires if you want. They're really not in the way. Um, as long as they're not sticking on the outside to where you can't um, put this in. So just start one screw. holding the speaker in place with your other hand. Now it's really that simple. Um, there's no cutting, there's no drilling holes. It is just plug and play, four screws, and this thing is um, ready to go. But let's go ahead and do the other side. And that's it guys, that wraps up our super simple install on our soundbar here. All right guys, there you have it. We have installed the full Trail 7 plug and play kicker bundle in our Jeep Gladiator here. Again, this is applicable for the Jeep Wrangler JLs or the Jeep Gladiator. The setup is identical the same. Whether you have the premium system or the standard system, Premium is with the amplifier and the sub. The standard is no amplifier, no sub. Regardless of which system you have, this speaker system fits that. Whether you're gonna go ahead and install all of the speakers, or even if you're gonna on a bypass installing the knee speakers, we have a bundle that's set up just for you. Regardless, it's a super easy install as you can see. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Hannah. I mean, that was fantastic. Hey, you did the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, let's hear it. All right, let's hear it. sounds really good yeah without a doubt i mean that sounds incredibly better than what it sounded like before very crisp very loud of course uh 
very clear sounding system there. I, I think that's I think that sounds fantastic. Also note here, this was done with the factory stock head unit. Um, of course, if you have an aftermarket head unit, the sound quality and crispness and loudness is going to be enhanced. Uh, this is, uh, of course, reduced because of the power output from the stock head unit. So again, uh, I think that sounds fantastic. So if you want to grab one of Trail 7's plug and play bundle for your Gladiator, a Jeep Wrangler JL, visit us at www.trail7.com. And until next time, we'll see, we'll you, see on you on the trails. On the trails.